Hey, welcome to Enscape 3.5. Apart from numerous improvements regarding reflections, shadows and overall graphics quality, as well as a number of new 3D assets we provide for you with this latest Enscape release, on top we also offer new functionality in the Enscape environment. In this tutorial video, we want to explore the new customizable asset functionality. For this video, we are moving in SketchUp, but everything you will see will be equally valid for any other design application you're using with Enscape. You can access the new customizable assets both through your design application or through the asset window directly in Enscape. For now, let's open the asset library here in SketchUp. You will notice that all assets now show a number like 1 slash 1 in their thumbnail. This is an overview over how many variations there are available for this asset. In general, there have been two types of customizable assets added. Assets with variants and assets you can change a color and or a material of. Also, all assets to be placed in your design application need to be clicked twice now instead of once. The quickest way to find the new customizable assets is by filtering by the new tag Adjustable. We'll see that there are over a thousand assets that provide a customization option now. You'll notice that many assets still show one of one, although they are customizable. That means that even if there's just one variant, you can change color or material information on these assets. Assets that show a one of two or more offer full model variants. Let's look at this ambulance, for example, as it shows a 1 of 2. Clicking it once will open the selection between multiple designs. We'll need to double-click the option we decide to choose in order to place it in SketchUp. And as you see, the ambulance will show up in the selected Alternative Coloring in Enscape. We can also access variants directly through Enscape. For this, let me maximize the Enscape window and open the Enscape Asset Library window. This lets us select individual assets in the Enscape scene. Clicking on our ambulance in the list view shows that we can change our choice here as well. Let's apply the changes to show the alternative coloring. Let's review assets with material and coloring options. Again, I'm going to apply the tag adjustable to see only the customizable assets. You may notice that in the Enscape Asset Library we don't see the one of one on each thumbnail, but clicking an asset will show us if there are any variants available. This armchair offers just one variant, so we can expect it to offer us material and or color options. Let's place it in the scene to explore them. Once we place it in the scene and click it again, we can see the material and color options provided for this one. We can pick a material for the main seating area out of these six options. Additionally, we can pick a color for the base part. You probably noticed that while selected, the asset is overlaid with an orange selection overlay. To check the actual color, it's best to click the asset once. This will deselect it. Now move away the mouse so it's no longer hovering above the asset to see the final result. If you want to continue editing the color or material options, simply click the asset again. All material or color changes have to be performed in the Enscape window and cannot be accessed from your design application. Once you're satisfied with your selection, don't forget to apply the changes so they get saved in your project. I hope this helps you find your way around the new customizable assets quickly. On top, you can now multi-select Enscape assets in the Enscape window. To do this, simply hold the Shift key and the left mouse button and drag the selection frame. This also helps to change through variations on multiple assets at once, as you can see in the list on the left side. 
Have fun exploring this new functionality in Enscape. Even more, you can now also right-click any asset to be able to select all instances of it in the model at once. We hope you'll have lots of success working with this latest version of Enscape. Thank you for watching.